Hello students, today we will learn the second part of latex. Okay, so uh, where were we? We made a folder, we said, learn latex and we just took a file from uh, which was online available and we just made some uh, changes to that file and we added the bibliography now a very important question is that can i change the style of the bibliography file so not bib styles so you can see here that we have a repository of different styles, NatBib and style names. All right. So for example, this is the style name. Okay, so let us try it. That will give us the square brackets. So let us try this. Right, so let us change the style in the text file. Let me close the PDF. Let us run the BibTech file. Install it. And wait. Great, you can see here now we have the square brackets. Let us change the style file again. I want to have the numbers. Okay, whenever you see such notification for PST file, please let it be installed on your computer.
zero warning. Now generate the PDF. Right, so now, because we had both books, the books will appear this way. The articles will appear in the numer uh, numeric form, right? One, two, three. All right, we can also learn how to add a figure to the document. Let us learn how to add the figure. Right, so, we will have begin figure, centering, and then include graphics, with my figure, and then caption, and label, and end figure. Let me say that this is the picture that I want to include. I will save it in the same folder where my text documents are. Kept. So I will go to the learn tag and I will save it as a JPEG file. Let me call it figure one. Now I'm going to call it in the curly brackets, I will call it figure one. And I'm going to run it. Press enter, if you see this error, press enter, and then let it to PDF. Now you can see it is not that clear. We need to change the size of the picture. So let us make it five. I have a bad box now. The reason for the bad box is because now the size of the picture is quite big. Let us see how does it look like, right? So it is going outside of the marsh from the margins, which is not a good point. Now, can you see the picture is not that nice? It is blurry. So to improve the that, we will go to EPS image converter. Documents. Learn tech. Figure one. Yeah, it is. I will take it to my folder. Right. And now I'm going to use the extension dot EPS. And then I'm going to check. I'm using use package graphics or not. Yes, I am. Now, let me click on Latex. Can you see this time? I have not faced any sort of error, just a bad box. So let me remove that as well. Four point five. Now there is no error, no warning, no bad box. Now, because the PDF was already open, I've got the error. Please do not panic. Just close this page and go to the latex and latex to PDF. And 
PDF. All right, with the passage of time, and if you keep following some examples available online, you will learn how to edit your text document. You can even add the theorems, lemma, and you can add the tables as well to your text document. And once you are an expert in it, then you can always use some online available uh, you know, softwares or platforms where you can save your text files. For example, this is a IEEE preparation document. So you can see here that here, if I open a document, the text document, I can see its PDF version here. My suggestion is that if you are a master's or a PhD student, and if you are learning latex or a graduate student or an undergraduate student, and if you are learning latex for the very first time, please learn it using WinEdit. You can see that here you have the options of the symbols, you can insert the structure, this chapter, for example, if I want to, let me come out of the picture uh, first, right? If I want to add a structure, I can insert the structure, chapter, section, and so on. Uh, section, I say results and discussion, okay? Plus, we can see the spell check here. Plus, we can connect to two documents. We can insert the equations. All right. So, we can add the tables. Right. So, my recommendation is that for the early beginners, please follow Vinedit. Okay. Once you are an expert in it, or once you understand the meaning of the errors, then you can easily go to the online available apps such as Overleaf is quite helpful. It helps me sometimes when I get a bug in my Vinedit, sometimes we get bugs as well. So I often uh, open my documents here on the Overleaf and I run my documents. I can compile my documents successfully, right? So good luck with the uh, Vinedit. And I am, I've made these videos for my research students and I'm looking forward to their research work, okay? So I am waiting for your replies. That is your documents, okay? I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much.